Greetings, everyone. I hope you're well today. Wednesday, April the 20th. It's a historic day today, 420, for many different reasons. And here's today's Seismic Watch. It's been pretty quiet worldwide for big earthquakes, significant activity. However, we have had a couple notable events. As you can see, it's sporadic. There's lots of earthquakes showing up all over the globe. Here in the mid-Atlantic range, we've been having some activity. The South Sandwich Islands. This is right on the fault line. And Japan continues rumbling. Looks like they had a 5.1 today. Right here. Yeah, this is pretty close to this triple plate junction. So, again, concerning. Northern New Zealand had an aftershock, 5.0 it appears. Chile seeing some activity again. And of course this area of Vegas continues a great amount of seismic activity, as does California. Washington experiencing a few quakes here and there. St. Helens had a 2.2 yesterday, I believe. And the Everett area had a 2. Point, what was it, 2.1? Two point four east of Everett. We all remember a couple months back when I had that video about the gentleman's home collapsing in Everett. So again, areas of note: Chile, northern New Zealand, Japan, California, Nevada. We'll take a look at the seismic server here which has been very quiet as you can see Not much activity going on across the board here alright moving on to the RSOE map I wanted to point to you that they have this shadow here now this indicates where it is daylight and where it is nighttime so I guess the RSOE map has implemented this kind of a neat feature what well, got my attention today, we have a nuclear event, yet another one, this one in the United Kingdom. All these nuclear events worldwide, you know, could it be the Stuxnet virus? There have been two spillages of radioactive waste and a breakdown in an emergency cooling system at Britain's nuclear plants in the past three months, according to a report to ministers leaked to The Guardian. A brown puddle containing plutonium five times the legal safety limit leaked from an old ventilation duct at the Sellafield Nuclear Complex in Cumbria. A number of shortfalls in the design, says the report. So here we go, more radioactive waste leaking. Was a technological, excuse me, technological disaster in India. Another building collapsed. Been seeing lots of building collapses around the east there. Wildfires continue to rage in Texas. Extreme weather, North Carolina, tornadoes, flooding all along Manitoba here. More to come, everyone.